What's up, everybody? It's Mover, C.W. Lemoyne, author of the Spectre series and the Alex Shepard series. If you're looking for a book to read while quarantined, uh, F-16 related, Spectre Rising is a good choice. It's about an F-16 pilot who's grounded and his fiance goes missing, so he launches an investigation. Lots of F-16 uh, related stuff in that book, or my latest book, Finny Flight, has more uh, flanker stuff, actually, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, welcome back to Mover Ruins. God, I'm not even going to call it. No, I'm I'm not ruining this movie. Um, Mover reacts to documentaries. We're going to take a look at the historical documentary known as Iron Eagle that follows American hero Doug Masters as a teenager as he saves his father uh, by stealing an F-16 to rescue him. So uh, on the last reaction video I did was uh, Battlefield 3 and there was Quite a bit of triggering. I forgot to put a trigger warning. Um, so, but I'm not going to do that this time because there's nothing to be triggered. So you're probably going to be triggered because it's too realistic. Nothing can ruin this movie. So, uh, but we're going to watch it. I've got some scenes, uh, all the flying scenes. I cut out all the middle stuff, and uh, we'll do some reaction. It'll probably be uh, this will be a two-part video just so it doesn't become an hour long. Uh, ordeal. So part one will be today and then uh, in a couple days I'll uh, release part two. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started and uh, let's take a look at Iron Eagle. Three, two, one, fight off. Full disclosure, uh, before we get started, it's been a while since I've, I don't think I've actually even seen this movie since um, I started flying, so it'll be good to see these scenes. So here we go. I'm even going to use the space bar. Ready, go. All right. Sydney film. Two Vipers. Systems check okay. Well, that's different. Okay. Priority check none. Might be an A model thing. These are older jets. Line around in formation, board. Yep, so these are Israeli jets. Mavericks and AIM-9 mics, or Limas, I guess. This is old. Papas, maybe? No, I think it's Limas. Mach point, so they're slow. And they like clouds. I like clouds too. So far, so good. I like it. He's bored. A lot of numbers. Two go fighting wing. Some really good aerial shots. I mean, this this actually. I mean, they've, they're, they're circling a chase plane, obviously, but this is really good, especially for the 80s. Uh, there's the Mavericks. Okay, now they've got bombs. Is that the Hades bomb? I like it. Uh-oh. Approaching aircraft radar mode search. This is the unidentified aircraft the northwest. Oh god. What? Find out what they're up to. What? Find out what they're up to. MiG-20. Uh, oh god. Okay. Oh! Now they lost all their bombs. Clean jets now. Okay. Um, just for a note, these are Israeli kafirs. Uh, I've actually flown with them because ATAC has them and they use them as adversary air. So uh, if you didn't know this, this was all done with the Israelis because the US Air Force told them to go pound sand and would not cooperate to film this. So they had to go to Israel and use Israeli Vipers and Israeli Kafirs uh, to film it, so. Uh-oh. What you talking about, Willis? The United States Air Force, we're on routine exercise. Routine exercise. Uh-oh. Fire when you get a lock. See? Battlefield would use that. Okay, 
Watch your tail, son. <laughs> Lieutenant, we use rank in the air here. That's pretty cool. That's a real HUD tape. Lock on. Yeah. Fox 2. Oh, cool. Nice. This is a good shot. I mean, they did really well with the photography. Uh-oh. Get out. Heading back to base. Over. Caution. Threat. Nice. Yep. So, so they're watching a video of a hunt tape. That's awesome. Target lock on. Yeah. Blew that model right up. Oh, cool. Well, that's, oh, it's the barrel rolls. Yeah. That looks like a teletype machine. Is that a 50 cal? Turbine failure. Oh no. Eject, eject, eject. <laughs> that doesn't exist. Eject, eject. It's like having goose. Oh, and that's it. Okay. Next scene. This is the uh, dirt bike racing scene. I spliced this all together. That's why it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Well, uh, was that a 150 Aerobat? I also use a cassette player when I fly as well. Satabria? Or is that a decathlon? I never can tell the difference. I have no visual recce of civilian planes. I'm just terrible at it. That's a dirt bike, though. I know that. Donkey rides dirt bikes. What's that with the match here? Well, he almost started a new career as a hood ornament. Oh, bazinga. Your flaps are down. You'll go faster with them up. Technique only. I mean, as stupid as this plot is, this is actually a really cool scene. Oh, snap! Uh oh. He's cheating! You're in an airplane! You're in an airplane! There's no way you can beat him now. Yes, you can. You're in an airplane. Fly direct. Just climb. That's how airplanes work. Oh, okay. We're going to do some aerobatics then. Um, God, that's pretty cool, though. That's, I mean, okay. It's good stunt flying, you know? Dude, that's, I mean, that's good photography. It really is pretty cool. They did a good job with that. Again, the scene's ridiculous, but. Oh, smoke on. Uh-oh. Turn the smoke off. Wow. You are way too nonchalant about killing your brother. So the dude committed a felony. Awesome. Sabotaging an aircraft is a federal offense. And a douchebag thing to do, which violates rule number one. Easy. Easy. He's Doug Masters. He's got a cassette tape. Your flaps are down. You'll go faster with them up, dude. But it'd make for horrible. 
I know. It would make for a horrible shot because he can't go slow enough. But if you want to win, smoke him out. Oh, nice. So you know this is old because they use toilet paper. You'd never be able to find that these days. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah! Andy landed. Oh, Jesus, how did they not kill somebody filming this? The 80s were awesome. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 oh. Damn it. Well, this will be investigated, though. Okay, now he's got a pocket full of quarters. Time to go to the sim. Listen, I heard what happened to your dad. Uh, yeah. Marty, I was wondering if you could... Okay, so I cut out the part where they tell him about his dad, he gets the briefing, they know where he's at and all this stuff, so now he's in the sim doing sim stuff. Man. Tell you what, there's someone blue in here now, but he's running late. Must be Blues Monday. This is the same as taking you in at night, okay? At night? Dude, they work some long hours. Those sim guys are treated terribly. That's a real Viper sim, I guess, for the 80s. I mean, it's a real Viper cockpit. Okay, buddy, I'm gonna set you up with some MiGs. No. Enemy squadron sighted. Roger. The whole squadron's coming after him? Oh, right. Yes! Oh, dude, these graphics are way better than our sims. This is like Airwolf level stuff. The stick doesn't move that much, though. That's actually not a Viper stick, either. Enemy destroyed. What else you got, Marty? The flight leader, the Skill level seven. I never made it past six. That's very sad. So they took actual footage from the Kafirs and made it infrared. That's pretty cool. I guess the potato graphics of the 80s didn't work for their movie. Hold it up. Hold uh, it up. Check your radar. Check your radar. Oh, it's Lewis Gossett Jr. It's Chappie. You have sustained a direct hit. A direct hit. Crash warning. Yeah, you suck. You've crashed. <laughs> it's like a video game. That is awesome. Oh, he's a reservist. You can see his patch. That's a reserve, Air Force Reserve patch. Watch the HUD. No, no, the HUD is not for that. Don't wear your hat indoors. What are you doing? Stupid reservist. Or on the flight line. No hat, no salute. <gasps> he's got the Peter pocket, too. What is wrong with you? Yeah. You're working as a mechanic. But fixing airplanes is something I like to do. Yeah, this is a common question on the channel. Everybody's like, oh, so you're in the reserves now? How do you do this? Or, you're an airline pilot? I thought you were a fighter pilot. Pick one. You can be both. It's legal. You can be a fighter pilot. You can be an airline pilot. You can be a cop. All these things you can do at one time. Ask me how I know. Anyway, carry on. You should. You can write a book too. I mean, these are all good options. You don't think I can fly, do you? Oh, come on, don't talk stupid. You think flying in an F-16 in aerial combat is the same as a snakey for you? He plays DCS. He knows. I've got three times as many hours in that simulator. Yeah. DCS. Right now. That's from combat. You know that's a bunch of bullshit. I mean, how many guys around here been in dogfights? Four. Holy crap! This guy is straight from the comment section of YouTube. I've heard all of these things in the comment section. Where's your G suit and helmet? And all the stuff you need. He's stepping to go fly? You're missing some stuff, sir. 06s, man. Oh, it's a flashback. He's flying with his dad. Because that's legal. People are going to bring up the mask down, but whatever. I flew with it down sometimes. Just not all, not when you're maneuvering, just when you're flying around. 
Music. I must have picked up the uh, radio station. So. I haven't checked out yet. Yes, sir. Wait, the colonel just saluted the major? Okay, now we're skipping ahead to where he and Chappie go flying. Your name's not on the list. Let me check this with flight control. Oh, no, that's not necessary. They just walk out and take the airplanes? There's no step brief? She's all ready to go. Is taking us in? Well, not you, sir. I mean these two Falcons. Vipers. These are all set up to go to Trujillo in Spain. Nerds. Like some Navy guys putting your helmets on before you get in. What are, so, the buckles on the harness, are they like from an 87 Buick? Can you come up here and show me where the throttle is in this thing? I'm starting not to like you. Follow the stop at six, ready for takeoff. Oh, man. Okay for takeoff. Okay for takeoff. Seems legit. Yeah, light the blower. All this awesome footage was wasted on the less than optimal storyline. Go. You're driving. Let's see what you got. You sure you're up to it? <laughs> you don't want to hot dogs, are you? Yeah, stick doesn't move like that there, guy. It actually moves more than it did. It used to not move at all. Oh, now it's got bombs. Cool. In-flight rearming. DCS style. Sorry. It's a viper. You don't have to make all those movements to turn. You just go. This is like my first bombing ride in the viper. Concentrate. Okay. Well, weapons armed. Yeah, I guess the master arm switch wasn't cool enough. Oh, nice. Told you it was different. This time, I want you to drop one of those Mark 82s with a horizontal up ahead. Okay, that makes sense. I'm tracking. Although Mark 82s are bombs, so they fall, they don't forward fire. Thank God. Cut it. We, we can't go in there with you shooting like this. You shooting like this? Let's, let's head back to base. Damn it, Chappie, I'm doing it my way. Damn right. It's the mask. He needed oxygen. Well, at least they got the two seater part right. Firing. Nice. The bombs aren't even off the jet. There you go. So the. Okay. <laughs> wow. I like the little display tape readout. Lockheed needs to get on that. It's pilot proof. It tells you everything you need to know, even the plot of the movie. All right, that'll do it for part one. Stay tuned for part two. Uh, we'll split it up. You'll get the uh, dramatic conclusion to the Doug Masters documentary coming soon. Excuse me. Oh, no. Oh! I've a lot of that. Usually fly with the doors off. Don't be a douche. Rule number one. I can tell you now.